finally, gym and spa owner Derek Perez suggests you work out those taste buds at this hip gastro bar. He says their menu will take you on a journey with a number of gourmet dishes, small bites, and fusion plates that will bring you back for more. From creative creations served in a rustic chic style, Derek says everyone will enjoy this little treasure. It's in North Miami Beach and it's called Lettuce and Tomato Gourmet Gastro Bar. My name is Roy Starowinski. I'm the owner of Lettuce and Tomato. And we're a family restaurant. I'd like to think we're a gourmet family restaurant. We pay attention to food, pay attention to detail. It's a fusion restaurant. We like to cook food from all over the world, different types of cuisines. Um, mainly we have obviously Latin food, I'm Argentinian, but a lot of French influence, a lot of Spanish influence, some Peruvian, a raw bar with some sushi, so Japanese as well. But we don't close the doors for, for anything. One of our best sellers are the steam buns. Even though it's, a, let's say, a Japanese traditional dish, we can make it our own. Let's say with, a, with our braised short rib, we break it down and put it on top of the buns. So we try to play around with those. I used to be a waiter many years, and I remember I had to repeat the same questions to all my customers, like, you want lettuce and tomato on your sandwich? You want lettuce and tomato on your food? And that frustrated me, so I said, when I open my own restaurant, it'd be called lettuce and tomato. I might serve everything but lettuce and tomato, but I, I thought it was a cool name. Lettuce and tomato, it's a restaurant where we want people to feel like home. We really pay attention to ingredients, um, fresh ingredients. We want people to feel like they know us, they know our faces, actually they know all our names. Maybe feel home. How did you find it? Originally, I thought it was just a burger place because mm -hmm. the name, but it's the name way kind more. of fools you. Yeah, it does fool you. And um, even the last time, uh, this last time that I, I tried something completely different. I had never tried the rack of lamb. Okay. So that's really what it, what I love about this place. Every time I try something different, and they have tons of different things, they're all either excellent or spectacular. So, so tell me about the rack of lamb. The rack lamb was fantastic. It was a great size, um, perfect texture. Uh, the presentation was beautiful. This last time I had the steam bun, which I think is really fun. It's a little Japanese steam bun, and they mm -hmm. put a short rib in it and a little bit of vegetables, and, and they're like little you tacos. You had that, right? Yeah. I did too. Oh, and, and it's super airy, yeah. and that short rib, I'm not going to lie, that appetizer was amazing. I, want, I was like, maybe I should take it to go <laughs> as well, like get another order, because I liked it so much. Or for dessert. I always say, if I like something that much, I get it for dessert again. Smart. Well, I had dessert there too, so. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else did you have? I started off with the spicy tuna roll, okay. which I thought was good. You know, it, it, was, it was spicy tuna roll, you know? So then I tried the au jus and truffle burger. Really good, it had this little sauce. Uh -huh. Again, yeah, I I, yeah the, and you poured it on your burger, Really awesome little, I love little things like that. Yeah, me that too. makes my experience like Anything memorable. to make a sandwich juicy also. Yeah. So of course I, I was like, I gotta try dessert because everything has been so good here. The Dolce de Leche Mousse. Okay. And it comes with oh, like a awesome. fruit compote with berries. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I mean, you you know, I thought at first I was gonna take you that You have that, home. right? Yes, it yeah. was. It, I, it wasn't I must, like the Oh my, it was, it was just. It was um, divine. It was. Yeah. I could have just eaten that all night. I it know. was just so wonderful. So I'll have to come back and, and <laughs> Chris, try what it did out. you have? The main course I had the 16 hour. Short ribs. Strips. Yes, yeah, 16 hour, yeah. yeah. And again, I mean, maybe I'm just not used to eating steaks in America, but I mean, I just thought that was amazing because I didn't even need my knife. I mean, I just took my fork and mm -hmm. just literally cut it and it was just, it melted in your mouth. Oh yeah. my God. How was service, Chris? Service was really good. She explained the menu, but the restaurant was very, very busy. It's, it's a family restaurant, I would say, because she was really busy and she had so many other tables mm. and she coped really well. And, and I thought it was, um, and she was nice, she was friendly, she apologized when things were not going as smooth as she wanted to. Yeah. But I mean, I just thought the whole experience was wonderful. Okay. Dessert? Yes, I had the Choco Choco Brownie. Choco Brownie, okay. Choco Brownie, yes. They tell me that it was made by the mother, so I'm not sure. <laughs> what. It was delicious. You better have liked it, <laughs> <laughs> in other words. Yeah, it was delicious, but um, they say it's made by in house, the mother, so it was fantastic. Rich, creamy, cool, warm, <laughs> everything you want out of a brownie. No doubt. But no doubt. I want to say something, though. I mean, my mother always said to me, when you order a meal, 
always have some kind of vegetable or, or something. And for the name lettuce and tomatoes, mm -hmm. maybe I was thinking, you know what, they'll give you a side order of, of lettuce and tomatoes or a little vegetable because my steak, it was just literally steak and potato. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean, I, I thought it was just amazing. Did anybody really? have drinks? Yes. I did. I had the red wine sangria. Oh, oh I did that sangria. too. It was, it, yes, oh the waitress was recommended <laughs> the red wine sangria, so I did it. It came with so much fruit in there, blackberries and raspberries. I actually asked for a spoon yeah. because I was just like they eating it like a dessert. Yeah, it was they just, give you like yeah, this yeah, little yeah, pick, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you're like, I need like a little wooden spoon. Yeah, yeah. So you did get your produce. It was just in a glass. <laughs> it was in a glass. Yeah. <laughs> well, Derek, lettuce and tomato was your choice. Please sum it up for me. I would say that lettuce and tomato is an exotic menu that executes really well to fantastic on all of its uh, and all of its dishes. Cindy? I think if you're looking for some Asian flair and and something new that with that Argentinian pop-up uh, you should definitely give lettuce and tomato a try. Chris? If you like vegetables make sure you ask that you know a side order of lettuce and tomatoes <laughs> or, or some kind of vegetable but it was amazing. I mean, I loved it. For unique flavors within traditional dishes, run on over to Lettuce and Tomato Gourmet Gastro Bar located at 17070 West Dixie Highway in North Miami Beach. Open daily for lunch and dinner and brunch on the weekends. Reservations are accepted and the average price for a dinner without drinks is about $40.